here we are in the bullpen, your old stomping grounds. My yes. old stomping grounds, this is pretty cool. All right, so I don't know where to begin really because I think ultimately, Pedro, the nuance of pitching deliveries is different for everybody. Look at you, you're skinny, not quite as tall. I'm tall and fat, there's big, they're skinny. You look at deliveries in this World Series, Clayton Kershaw's got an unusual delivery, Chris Sale is different, David Price, everybody. So stuff and delivery, it's not cookie cutter, right? What are some of the keys and deliveries that you look for that made you consistent? But you, you it, quickly you realize, and once I say this, uh, everybody will realize that everybody needs good balance. Okay. They need to feel comfortable on the rubber and, and somewhat have a quiet landing where they can feel comfortable to pick up the spot where they want to hit and actually have a, a good release point and a consistent one. Okay, so I heard balance, yeah. to me, that's number one for you. Yes. Because you make reference to Quiet it. landing. Quiet landing. Yes, because you want to really hit your target. You don't want to be off in your location. And what was the last one? And the last one was a consistent release point. All right, so let's get to this, because yes. I want it. Everybody wants to know, right? Pedro Martinez, Hall of Famer. Yes. So what was your keys to a good, consistent balance? What did you do? Well, the first thing I, I, I had to do was make sure that I was on top of the rubber. I always kept my dodge away, hooking the rubber. Did it matter where you stood on the rubber? Uh, there's some well, guys way it, left, right, right? It did for me because I had a lot of movement, even on a cross seam fastball like this. Okay. Ball will tell. Come into the righty. Yeah, so. So I, you wanted to be on the first base side? Uh, no, I wanted, I wanted to be in the middle. Okay. Because right. I could command what I, what I would do in my, my bad tendency would be to open up. Okay. So when I open up, I wanted the ball to come back to the strike zone. Was there any kind of, like, some sort of well, when rhythm I, tester. When I got here, I wanted to make sure that once I brought that leg up, I was in balance good enough to actually ride down, ride down, separate on time, and ride the slope. Was there a drill you did? I did. So was I, that it? I got, uh, I, I got a lot of balancing okay. in, the, in the clubhouse. I would do a lot of balancing, okay. go pick up the ball, do stuff like that, All right. and have this I mean, did it matter what you led with? Tree, standing tall and fall, or did you drive with your lower half? It's a combination. The first thing I wanted to do was give you my hips. Okay. The line, the stripe of my pants going forward. Boom. Got it. Elbow, eyes, and everything. And then ride the slope of the mound and make sure that I landed in a 45 degree with my toes so that I could have the flexibility to bend that knee at the time I release the ball. Because that will force me to hold the ball for longer and actually bring it down. We talked about this yesterday, Petey. Wait, go, go back to that. We're talking yeah. about the stack cast and where the release point is. You said you were you threw it out in front of your face? Yes, I wanted to kind so of... try to get as far as to home play as you can. I wanted to have an imaginary tube where I wanted to have my, my hand where I kind of wanted to see it and then follow the ball all the way. Coming back, going away, or bouncing down, I wanted to see it. Consistent release point.